morning, Africa. Good morning, Cameroon. It's another bright day. In fact, a rainy day here in Boya. We are still in Boya, the capital of the southwest region of Cameroon, and we are at the Mountain Hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you. If you are just joining us, we are just beginning Shine Africa. And a big thank you to the management and staff of Mountain Hotel Boya for taking good care of us during our stay here. And also to my crew for being so amazing here in Boya. I am your host, Reverend Abonta Mirabel Seringwa. We are going to start this edition of the show with an amazing artist, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to be having him two times on the show. So put your hands together for my guest artist. Who the fuck did this? Vocal. Jay on, on the beat. You, you, you. You, you, you understand now? Okay, see. When you compare me with this nigga, every season different. Cause anytime in day or line, I know they me present. Some kid with your hook, they fake I'm just a free sense. Some nigga, they for fake sense, so for no reason. Life man lesson, but some people still they hate. I don't wonder all that stories, they fed on them be of late. Because my own time go carry and me go share the cake, I said. My time go carry and me give a share the cake. Man, I bend and then I push. But my way, no, the rush. This goes to all this fucking guy, they win no fair the brush. And he enter 2020 now, big push back. See my flow now, the rock I set. You know the look he set back. Even don't get me fair bad boy, I know go ever laugh. My nigga with me now, he said, be there for inside quarter. Man, who call the stand up for the coming out and jacker. Checks it tomorrow, now send me, I go to suffer. Tori day, brakata day, Tori day, who go kill it every day. Tori day, Tori day, Una yeah, brakata day, Tori day, who go kill it every day. Hey, hey, Tori day. I am a fool. Sick I say with me, so now my cause be on fool. Like the first you take me in a plan for a pre fool. Mutumbu say be the shit. That I will man this cool. That I will man in Nagi to a man who you say beat. Put some as more bug there. We name it been a Laura. Hot him been a jack. I say hot him been a jack. Put in life where no man be fairy chop. I say the champ. Man be come and say a back. What touch and go like we don't drunk. Mutumbu the sweet but not enough for day for man. Sometimes they say I go my me a chumbo pong man down. You be mukula. Me I be a fun I am a better car like a for being a mayor. One bay, one way on four, but over level. You tell me then give me a more. I better get my top up. I'm over fan qua o pika. I'm gone double. Tori de, brakata de, eh, eh, de, who go kill it up a day. Tori de, brakata de, tori de, who go kill it up a day. Tori de, brakata de. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to take on my guest. And I have a very amazing guest today. She is Tekken Isabel. Put your hands together for her. You're very welcome. Thank you. We are in Boya and they are doing so much when it comes to agriculture and smart agriculture for that matter. And you are a smart lady into smart agriculture. So we are going to be talking about all the things that you, you find here before us. Before then, you ask us to do the watermelon juice. Please come to my kitchen where okay. we do the happy juice. Thank you. Shine, Africa, shine. Shine, Africa, shine. Do you have a juicer at home? No. Oh, yeah. So you what? should try to get one. 
Yes, what I usually do, I just slice them into small, small pieces and then I consume. So I don't oh, usually blend. Okay, uh -huh. so you do, um, you, you do the salad just yes. like this? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. But sometimes if you want to drink it, uh, if you're very thirsty, it's always good to have it. Because you're a smart lady, sure. you sure. find a smart way of squeezing the juice out, out of the chair and then you drink. Our juice is ready. I serve you. Thank you. And this for me. What's your favorite color, please? My favorite color is blue. Oh, God. That's a beautiful color, but we don't have it. So I give you uh, something that looks like blue, right? Yellow. Yeah. Yellow. Yes. <laughs> Next to that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get the purple for myself. Can you have a sip of your juice, please? How do you like it? <laughs> it's great. It's great. Okay. Just before we take leave of you, remember that a kitchen without a juicer is not alive. A kitchen without a juicer is not alive. Shine, Africa, shine. Shine, Africa, shine. You're welcome back from that break, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still in the company of beautiful Isabel Tegen. <laughs> yes. Uh, and you are an agronomist. Yes. You studied agronomy at the University of Boya. That's true. Yeah. Okay. How is agronomy and agriculture different? Is there a difference? Yes. Um, agriculture is the broad word. And agronomy is like a specialty oh. because uh, agriculture has different, different specialization. So agronomy is like you specialize in the cultivation of crops and all that. Wow. So, That's beautiful. And a beautiful girl like you, why did you go to school and choose to do crop and agriculture and agronomy? Why did you do that? Yes. Um, in 2011, uh, when I graduated from, uh, from uh, the high school, I was wanting to do something that I can easily get a job or create a job for people. So I wasn't wanting to go into something which I can just get a job, you know, maybe in an office or so. So I was thinking of the, 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 the community, I was thinking of the nation to see how I can also be productive, to see how I can create even job for people. So I decided and I saw that agriculture is the best because um, even during while studying, you can start raising some money for yourself for agriculture. So wow, this is why I beautiful. decided to, to take agriculture and agronomies because it deals with crops. Okay, that, that, that makes you an entrepreneur. That's true. Yeah, That's true. and I know that your passion, you have a passion for entrepreneurship. That is true. Yeah. Um, I have a passion, a very strong passion for ag uh, entrepreneurship because it makes you to think, it makes you to innovate, to come out to look at problems and you begin to look at solutions to provide. And when you are providing solution to a certain problem, you are creating employment. employment. I mean, you're, 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 you're increasing yep. the standard of living for people. So you're making the community become better, you're making Cameroon become a better place when it comes to entrepreneurship. Yeah, Tegan, tell me about, uh, Tegan seems to be a name from the Northwest region, am I right? Yes. What from part of the Momo. Northwest? From Momo. Momo. Or they call it Meta. From Meta. <laughs> Akiriye, is it from your village? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. From Bengui. Uh, from Bengui. How do you say good morning? Afano. Afano to everyone in Bengui and everyone in Momo. <laughs> you have your daughter right here on Shine Africa. Uh, and today I... For the first time, I'm seeing the, do, do I call them the ex of, of um, I, I really, I, I, I'm afraid to touch, to All touch right. it. Like. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. We have here, I think here we have snails. Yes. These are snails that we have here. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are the snail eggs. That's true. The, these are the snail eggs. Yes. And, and these are the snails themselves. That's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and you also have, and you have branded it so beautifully. Exactly. 
in innovate platform sustainable agriculture. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And and then we have um, plantain planlets. 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 Planlet. That is a seedlings. Wow. That's a seedlings of uh, plantain. Yeah. What we do they them. call suckers? We usually no. thought that they just took suckers and and used them for 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 the plantain. Yes, that is true. In the old, that the, is what they did. They only take the suckers. That is uh, when you have your plant, the site, what is at the site? Yeah. They call them suckers. So what our fathers, what our mothers did is that when they want to plant, plantain, they just go and remove the suckers. Oh. But now innovation has come in. Creativity has come in. Whereas we try to use a technology to see how we can multiply the suckers into you know, thousands, hundreds of uh, plantain planlets. Yeah. And there are a whole lot of advantage so, so how associated do, yeah. to it. So how do you do them? Is it, are they seeds? Let, let me, are, are they seeds? Yes, are, if you take, um, it is a whole process. It's a mm -hmm. technology, as, I'm, as I just told you. Mm -hmm. You take the side suckers and you manipulate it. It is demonstrative. If yeah. you don't come to the field, you might not really understand. Please put it on the other side of the table. Okay. Yeah. So you, I, I want so, to understand how you get this. You cannot live here without making me understand how you will not use suckers and plant plantains. All right. What we do is that when we take the suckers, mm -hmm. we focus on the comb because the beneath part of a suckers is called the comb. The comb. So we, we peel it and then we try to cross cut to kill some bots, some uh, me, me, bot that might want to show up so that the lateral bot might also come up. So when we do it, we we'll take it, we we'll treat it, we we'll take it to the propagator. We we'll put it inside the propagator. The propagator What's is the made propagator? up. Is it a heat room? Yes, a heating room. Okay. It is made up of sawdust, soft sawdust, what we usually see. Mm -hmm. So when we put it there, after about Two weeks or three weeks, you see the the the, 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 the comb starts sprouting into what they are called what we call plantlet. Plantlet. So when yeah. it starts sprouting like that, we go and do what we call winning. We go and remove it from the propagator. We take to the nursery. When we take to the nursery, we can keep it for two months for the, the roots to be established. Because if we remove so, it from here, you will see that roots are already there. Okay. Because this one is ready to be planted on the field. I mean, farmers can take now and go and plant. Mm -hmm. So we so keep. So this is two months. Yes, we take now to the nursery and keep for another two months. When the roots is being established, we can supply to farmers. So this one, having exposed it from the nursery, it's coming from the nursery. It Are is coming from the yeah, propagator. From the propagator. Yes. Then we put it inside the polythene. Is it still going to be okay after you take it from the show and you take it back to the propagator? You can still plant it. Yes. We supply to farmer to the west to this in uh, 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 Yaounde and so on. Yeah. So it is. It has no problem. Okay. It has no problem. Okay. This mm. is beautiful. And so we, the, we, the main difference between the soccer and the plantlet is mm -hmm. it's that it, it gives. Uh, uh, I think multiple, it multiplies the number of... Yes, now you see that um, in the old, the way our mothers, our father used to do agriculture, they did it in, not, in, in a way that is not business, in the line of business. Yeah, okay. But now, well, what we do, when we produce it, you see there is a lot of uniformity. Oh. Meaning that if you take something like 1,000 or 2,000, you go and plant and you maybe after nine or ten months, you want to go to the fee, you are confident that you can harvest even, let's say, 500 at once. But then now when you go and take side suckers or you go and take suckers, you don't know the age of that suckers. That's the first thing. And then when you go, you go to them and, and harvest two bunch, three bunch, you will not really see the money in the agriculture. So the, the, the number one advantage is that there is uniformity. You see your farm become unique. You see, yeah, you go you to your farm. You can supply in the market at yes. the same time. And yes. And then the second advantage is that it is disease free. Because what we produce here is 98% free from disease. Wow. So you crazy. take now, it reduces your cost of expenditure. Perhaps you're supposed to buy chemicals and all that. And we are talking about uh, environmental friendly to plant things that or use products that are not going to disturb the environment. So when you take this, all those chemicals you have to be applying, all the, it reduces it 
so much. So you see that if maybe you are supposed to spend in a hectare of land, you're supposed to spend about 500,000. Maybe now taking this product, you can spend about 200,000, which we think it is very good. I know, it's, it's very, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see that I'm so taken away by this conversation. I have a lot to learn on it. I hope that you watching also ha are learning something very important on today's show. When we come back from the musical break, we are going to be focusing more on uh, the snails and some other thing that Tegan is doing here in Boya. Ladies and gentlemen, Put your hands together for our guest artist, Pendamboko. <laughs> okay. You, you understand now? See? I go sound for your ear now, so like a kimbanga. I got it talk now, tell you for the holla. Oh, you didn't hear double sumo for hammer. That time we no man said, I'm going to go to the we no know. Soon I wire that thing, enjoy the slow. Live long life, forget about it, though. See my brother, man, I saw him over blow. So work hard, I no day to the criticize. Wise man, I'm a win them before he realize. If I punch for your face, I wanna exercise. Get good, man, I swear, when I merchandise. Back on Gina, I shame, man, we get to. See my fam, push your dinner for Bello. All the ground is so wide. And then I choke go. We the fight, but nobody knows tomorrow. Send a me if you can wipe this your sorrow. Did I get by my man? I beg humble. Cause for year we read not that Bible. Now why I stand up now on top table? You be in a shoot down. Send them body and call you commander. Be inside a man come on. Where your man you wanna and what's the man? You be in a shoot down. Send them body and call you commander. Be inside a man come on. Where your man you find and what's the man? I don't have the end in a lamps a month. Then in a lamps a month, you didn't hear any vines on a lamps a month. If you say, Oh, in a lamps a month, it don't have the end in a lamps a month. Then in a lamps a month, I didn't have anything in a lamps a month. Okay, see, man, I live out with so me, I know if ever flop. Money for hustle before time set clock. So, me, I always let me keep people. Get to him, send me on the nigga who resembles. Kid before you enter inside Kwa Now a man so that man will he ever suffer Like so my JK will be this laka Take first B, second B, stop a holla Walk hard, cause for OA, she go tire Now for them my brother, you go know the real suffer When you make a nigga talk so you don't enter a court See, it's more time, the house go the court Now my life, there's no day for the young one say She knock me to me, make you far out there At least that me more day, set every soiree See, can say me, I know if you ever said man Hey, young one say, young one say Man to man, for you so man, no thank you Boy, I'm a sap, but they don't go show Wow, Pendamboko. Why Pendamboko? Are you from Pendamboko? No, I'm not from Pendamboko. Where are you that? from? I'm from Bamenda Santa, precisely. Jesus, that's very strange. Pendamboko should be in, in Douala or in the southwest region. Yeah, I, the thing is in that... In the southwest region, yeah. yes. Uh, and tell me about it. The thing is that I had a friend there, so I went there and I really loved the area, so... So is it your artistic name or your real name? No, my artistic name. Yeah, what's, what's your real name? Fru Cherry. Fru? Cherry, Cherry. Cherry, Fru yeah. Cherry. So when did you start singing professionally? Professionally, I would say 2020. 2020? Yeah. This is, wow, this is beautiful. So these are new songs? Yeah, they're new songs, even though I was doing many tracks, but they were not that professional. Mm -hmm. So at that time, I was thin, but I mean, you know, things are very slow. We don't have good studios. Mm -hmm. So when I came up here, I met Jayon, Jayon. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he brought me up into music and... Mm -hmm. I'm trying it. When there. did you come to the Southwest region, to Boya? No, presently I was in Douala. 
Okay. So I just started living here like three weeks back. Okay, that's yeah. beautiful. So where do you want to go five years from here, from now? Where do you want to be? I, I just want to be in Cameroon, but I just want to be... I mean, with your music. Yeah. Your music. My music. Are you thinking of becoming something other than what you are now in yeah, five years? Yeah, I have better plans for the music. Okay. Because for the music, I already have a label that is like about signing me. Even wow. Though by now, they are still trying to create one or two things. Okay, in wow. Ecuador. Okay, wow. Yeah. This is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. We hope to have you again some other time on Shine Africa. Thank, Thank you for coming. You. Thank you, so. Shine Africa, shine. Shine Africa, shine. You're welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, from that break. And we are still in the company of Tegan Isabel. If you are just joining, this is Shine Africa, and we are recording at the Mountain Hotel in Boya. Today we are talking entrepreneurship, and we are talking agriculture and agronomy, and she is a specialist. Uh, we were talking about these plantain plantlets, Plantain plantlet. Yes, plantlet. Yeah, okay. So before we went on the break, I said we'll be talking now on, we'll focus more on the snails. Snails. Yeah, yeah. tell me, uh, it's the first time I'm seeing the snail eggs. Yes. And I, it's a bit strange to, to me okay. yeah, to see them. I love snails. I spent three years in Kumba. Wow. And that's the first time I ate snails. That was in 2012, 2005. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was the first time I ate snails. Mm -hmm. So tell me about how you grow them. All right. Um, this is a very lucrative sector in agriculture. Wow. And um, last year, we decided to get into it because um, we get into sectors that young people can easily grab, they can easily do with little or no finances. Wow. Now, um, these snails, we have um, standard pen because for snail farming, we have different types of farming. What we are doing, we are doing an intensive snail farming where we are using pen trench. Yeah, you can use wooden box and all that. So what, what, we have, what does that mean? Where you put, where you now nurse? the house of the snail. Okay, okay. That's the building where the snails. It is called into a it. pen. Yes, mm. because when we when we are look we, when we are looking into agriculture, we have to think about sustainability. Okay, we don't have to think only during the rainy season we can get the snails, we'll do whatever. Now, during the dry season, does it mean that people are not going to consume snail? Mm. No. So this is why we came up with the idea to see how we can breed these snails or how we can rear these snails so that they can be available at every time, you see? So what we have here, we have two types of snails. This is the Akatina marginata. Oh, God. You can see this is Akatina, Akatina Marginata. Marginata. Yes. And then this is the Akatina Akatina. Oh, now, God. this is the one that is common. There are different, different types of snails or different, different um, species of snails. But then we focus on what is available to us here in Africa or to Cameroon. So we don't go and use what they are using in uh, Europe and all that. No. Now, this particular one, you can see it's very big. Yeah. This one, very like big the, and yes, darker the, than the other one. Yes. Uh, if you don't call it the Akatina Marginata, you can call it the African Giant. You can see wow. it is very big. Okay. But this one, it does not produce a lot of eggs. This, this is the one that if you want to really go into production, you go for this Marginata. It can produce about 100 eggs, you know, at a close. Wow. And then it can produce even at a close. What close means mean, yeah. that in a, it has it, 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 it has a, a period of production reproduction. Ah, okay. Yes. So during that particular period, it can produce about one hundred. So yeah. in a year, it can produce about three to four times. So if you multiply it, you will see how many eggs you can have in a year. But this one, if you are looking at the meat, because sometimes people look at the size and all that, you can go it's in very for this. Fleshy. Yes, this one it is. It can just give you about thirty eggs in a close yes so what we do we concentrate so much on the reproduction because we want to have a continuous life cycle if you see as i said earlier 
we are unique and we come this in. This is with beautiful. This is the agriculture that uh, the president of the Republic, Paul Bia, has asked young people to do. And I'm so amazed you're doing it so well. Continue mm -hmm. talking, please. Yes. Um, what we do is we want to maintain the continuity. So what we, we do at the field is we try to multiply the X. So you can have, you can say, maybe you go to the Y, you get a bucket of snails that can be, let's say, between 300 to 500 in numbers. Now you put it, you put it inside your pen or inside where the, the environment of the house. You put it, in a year you can have thousands of X. Meaning that you don't need to go and buy snails again. You can become a reference farmer or a supplier. So these are the eggs. This, these are the eggs, as you can see mm -hmm. here, that the snails lay. When they lay it, the good thing is that they hatch on their own. It is not like fowls, perhaps you have to take to an incubator. This day. No. <laughs> you know, it, when you just, what you have to do is where the snails are, you go and remove the eggs, not with your hands. Because if you touch the eggs with your hands, it can delay the hashing process. Okay. So you use something like a spoon. So when you remove it now, you take it to another separate pen that has no snail. And you just open the soil and you put, and then you take um, some soil and then cover shallowly so that the eggs within three weeks, it will hash into small or younger snails. From there now, you keep feeding them and so on. And what do you come. feed them with? We feed snails on unwanted fruit or unwanted food meaning that those things that unwanted exactly those things that we don't consume these are the things that snails feed on wow. for example um the rotten watermelon rotten popo all oh. those things they, 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 they enjoy is... it feeding on it what? so you just go and take them you put it inside the pen of your snails perhaps when you come in the evening you introduce it the next day you remove because you have to make the environment be very clean. If you don't do that, it can attract some predators. So either you feed them using fruits, or you can feed them using maybe leaf, something like purple leaf, or maybe the potatoes leaf and so on. Anything that is soft, okay. snails can feed on. So do you also farm the food for the snails, like the leaves, purple to feed the, the, or you just go around cutting behind people's houses? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we are not professional. Okay. Um, what we do is um, for the fruit, because we focus so much on the fruit, because it's what they love more. But then to have a balanced diet, sometimes you have to introduce the leaves or the purple and all that. Now what we do is we create a contact with these people at uh, Munya Market. These people who usually come and bring watermelon, you know, in trucks and all that. Mm -hmm. So when we go there, maybe like... The ones um, that are no longer needed. Good. So they already know us. Yeah. When we go there, sometimes we keep our things. They just put inside mm. and then we go and carry them. And wow. Yes. And then uh -huh. also, we have demonstration sites. We have um, crops that we are planting. So sometimes we go there and harvest. Or sometimes we go to one of our farmers that, because we do a lot of training too. So we go to one of our farmers and then we can take some of the leaves there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are an organization or an individual and you want uh, Elizabeth again to train some people in your part of uh, this country or in Africa, you can contact her using the number on the screen and the email address, or you contact our social media pages, especially Facebook, Shine Africa TV show, and we're going to get you to Elizabeth. Are you affected by the Anglophone crisis in any way? Sure, we are affected. Now, in 2017, um, I had, because for the plantain planet, we don't produce without people giving us their command. So you call us, hey, we want you to produce us 3,000 of plantain planet because I want to open my hectares of land. So when you do that, you give us a deposit about 40%, and then we start the production or we start the multiplication. So I had a client um, from Manfe. So he had already placed his command, done his deposit, and we did our job you know, producing or multiplying their planet. So it was due time for this person to come and collect. collect. And the person just told me there is serious shooting there. The <laughs> boy said they cannot go and plant. And I was like, what should I do now? I have, I have, I have already multiplied, <laughs> you, know? you know. 
do, what do you expect me to do? So, should I go uh, for a land and plan and all that? And it was very serious. About how many plants do you he, have at that he, time? He made a command of 2,000. Oh, my he God. He made a command of 2,000. So, how did you solve the problem? So, I tried to explain to him that, that he, he needed to the... come through the boys. <laughs> This guy told me if I like, I should take him to the police station. <laughs> he's ready. He's, he cannot be there to put post life in, you know. But in he danger. did not ask you for the deposit. No, what he did was he was even saying that he can even dash me the money. <laughs> <laughs> but your problem you know? was what to do with the planet. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Wow. We so could. we are really affected by it. And even the. The snails were supposed to have done a lot of training okay. because so, so many people are calling us. But then now maybe the crisis people have to leave from this area to come and all that. Even oh, we, it, it, it's going to be over very soon. <laughs> I hope you are not taking these snails away. This packet like that, you're leaving it for my boys and I. <laughs> so, no problem. No thank problem. you. Thank you very much. And you have been talking and I believe that there are some people in the hall who may want to ask some questions. Please, what would your question be? I'm called Donji John Dobla, an agronomist also. So, um, Mrs. Sabel, I wish to ask, how can we contact you guys? You have been talking about snails, um, plantain, but you have not given us a means at which we can contact you guys. What if we want to learn on how to do these things? How can we contact you guys? Thank you very much. Okay. Um, it, it's very simple to contact us. We have a demonstration site at uh, Malingo, um, just around Catholic Church, University Catholic Church. And uh, if you, maybe you're far distance and you, you cannot come, you can call us on phone or you can sell, send to us an email at implazaio.com. We have the email running on the screen right now. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You have been on the hot seat taking all the questions, and now is the time for you to ask me a question. Yes, um, I must say that I am so much inspired. Um, this is not my first time hearing about Shine Africa. Thank you. I think we have met um, a couple of times. Yes, we met at the, the Israel High Tech. Yes, High Tech Seminar in Yaoundé 2017. Exactly. Yeah. And also, I've been watching some of your program on the TV. Um, I would just like to know what really has inspired you, because in one of your presentation, not this one actually, you said you are the founder the initiator of Shine Africa. So then perhaps you just share with me what um, inspired you so I can be motivated. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, this is not the first TV show I'm doing. I, d I started with um, the Better Life TV show in Bamenda. It was an African Nouvelle radio and the Republican television network. And so I always wanted to do a bigger show. I have icons like uh, Oprah for the world level. I have uh, Mo in Nigeria for Africa. And, and I always looked at these figures and I said, okay, one day I want to be like them. Yes, yeah, so that's how I got my motivation to do the show. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now is the dance lot. And you asked us to dance to... Ada E. My matter. Oh God, on my matter, I die. Shine, Africa, shine. Shine, Africa, shine. On my Thank you, thank you very much. You just made me discover that artist. I, it's the first time I'm getting that song. And so we are going to see how many marks you've made for yourself just dancing. Please, can we have someone with a mark sheet? Uh, was it a five? No. Was it a seven? No. Was it a nine? Yeah. <laughs> <guys are> <laughs> no. 
you just had nine on ten. Right. Yeah, so you're going to leave us yes. with your smart agricultural signature here. All right. Just get some space. Let me help you with the microphone. Thank you. Get any space of your choice and sign on it. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. you are not going to sit down anymore. You don't come on Shine Africa and go back the same. So we brought a gift for you. Wow, <laughs> this is great. When you look at it, you should tell Africa that you were here. Okay. I am so happy and so excited to have had you on this show. Okay. Yeah, I've had to learn a lot from you. It's a Thank pleasure. You. And Thank we are happy to be on the show too. Thank you very much and see you some other time. Thank you. Shine, Africa, shine. Shine, Africa, shine. Before we go, ladies and gentlemen, here is our watchword. It's a Somalian proverb on war and leadership. It says, if you can't resolve your problems in peace, you can't solve war. If you can't resolve your problems in peace, you can't solve war. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we come to the end of this edition of Shine Africa. And we are still in Boya, the capital of the southwest region of Cameroon. And we are at the Mountain Hotel. And we continue to say a very big thank you to management and staff of this hotel for taking very good care of us while uh, uh, during our stay here in Boya. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I remain your host, Reverend Abongta. Mirabel Surungwa. Bye bye. bye.